And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast. Weather from where you live. All right, here's an overall look of the uh, Midwest map here. Storm Team 18 radar and satellites. We are clear right now. A few storms in central Illinois. All thanks to this low pressure here well to the northwest in Minnesota and it's uh, going to be moving off slowly to the southeast and it will actually cross Indiana uh, likely Wednesday into Thursday, but it'll be a slow mover which will give us uh, some good amount of rain chances for Tuesday and Wednesday. But as of this morning, walking out the door, we are nice and clear. We've been looking out of our tower cameras here across the viewing area, seeing some lightning in central Illinois, but we are good and uh, the storms will remain basically in Illinois this morning. We're down to 52 now. Logan Sport, good morning. Kokomo, 50, 54, Frankfurt, 56 in Lafayette warmer down in Covington Pine Village into the upper 50s. So really not a bad start. Nice refreshing one. If you like the weekend, you're going to love today. So get outside and enjoy it before things turn a little bit more stormy and wet for Tuesday and Wednesday. We'll be nice and sunny this afternoon. A few more clouds by six and we'll get up into the lower 80s today. We hit 82 at the airport yesterday. Maybe a degree or two warmer for this afternoon. So future cast again shows today pretty nice. A lot of sunshine will increase some clouds overnight tonight, and I can't rule out a stray shower along the Indiana Illinois border in our western cities and counties late tonight into tomorrow morning. We may see a few scattered showers as well, but nothing widespread. And that's going to be the case for Tuesday and Wednesday. Nothing too widespread, not like an all day soaker or everybody getting rain. It's going to be a scattered type system that will give us some scattered to numerous storms across the viewing area. Here's lunchtime tomorrow may have a couple of isolated rain showers, but the peak heating time of the day may trigger some more showers and storms across the region. Now that will quickly move through. We'll see a little bit of a break and then we'll see more storms likely Wednesday morning. Maybe a pretty wet commute for Wednesday uh, for the morning hours. We'll get a break and then during the afternoon we'll start to see those storms kind of start to pop off and you can see just the circular rotation of some of these showers. No severe weather looks likely, but maybe 30 50 miles per hour winds, small hail and maybe some isolated flooding with some of these heavier and stronger storms may reach up to about an inch, maybe pushing two inches. But as I like to say with these maps with the future cast rainfall, don't think Kokomo may get a half an inch or Lafayette two and a half. I want to give kind of just a range of the viewing area of maybe a couple tenths of rain in some areas to possibly one pushing two inches with some of these stronger storms. Scattered storms for tomorrow afternoon will only see highs in the 70s, but after Wednesday we will start to clear out. So scattered storms Wednesday high only 73 and then we dry out Thursday, maybe an isolated shower Thursday, but high pressure really settles in for the rest of the week and into the week and it looks very dry after Thursday will be 80 Saturday, possibly mid to upper 80s by the middle of next week, Joe. All right, not too far off from where we were this weekend, David. Mm. Just like you said, it was a great weekend. Right. Sounds like we, our families kind of did the same thing, and I did take your advice. I had a little bit of a fire there outside. I mean, man, it was so nice. Yes, it was perfect. Had great weather out there, but definitely warmer for this time of year. Yeah, you know, we saw 80s yeah. both days, but uh, today, no exception, will be kind of like yesterday. Okay. Nice and sunny, warm, but then as we get toward tomorrow, watch for those rain and storm chances. Okay, will do. Thank you, David.